Hey everybody, I'm Zez. Welcome to some Field Runners. Field Runners is a tower defense game. And it is a game that I haven't actually wanted to do this for a little while, but I've been having trouble figuring out how I should do it. So I thought I'm going to do it like this. This is by first of all, this is by no means going to be a perfect walkthrough. That's not what my intention is with this game. My intention is, is to come here and have a good time playing this. So what I plan to do is, is I plan to do the first... This game is essentially divided up into 100 levels per thing. At least on classic mode, that's what we're going to be playing. And, uh... Yes, I forgot I was going to say that for a second. Ah. Um, it's going to be the first 50 levels are going to be the actual game. I feel like that's the part people would care to see, because you need 50 levels in order to advance on to the next place. After that, I'm, ha I'm going to have what's called the pre-game. I will guaranteed make it to 50. However, once the pre-game is, this is going to be everything from 50 on, no matter how far we make it. So, let's get started, I guess. This guy, this guy, this guy. Um, we're going to be sitting here, we're going to play Grasslands. I'm going to be playing on easy, which I know I could very likely be getting crap for, but... I have just spent too much time. <laughs> After two failed attempts on medium, I'm just like, you know what, screw this. I'm here to have a good time. I could get crap for that, but... I'm here to have a good time, not... Always getting around 43 on easy, on a medium too, but... Alright, so we're just going to play this in classic mode. Now, I know this first, like, two or three are going to be extremely easy. I have no excuse not to get to level 100. But, yeah. Alright, here we are. Here is the screen. Up here we have our money. This is what we use to buy defenses. This is our score. Defeat to get defeated to get a high score. This is our lives. We have 20 lives. We can let 20... We can let 19 units through before we lose. Here are our towers. We start with the four basic towers. Uh, we switch... Here is our menu. I want to hit pause. I want to see something. Achievements. Aha. That's what that was. Alright. No, pause. Alright, so I'm going to say we have right here... Our four basic towers. The first one, which will be the one we are essentially going to make a wall going all the way through this map in... Is this basic machine gun tower. As you can see, we are going to place it along here, like this. Go and hit play. Now, little guys called field runners are going to come running up here, and the goal is essentially to kill them before they make it to this spot over here on the map. As you can see, they are very stupid, and they just run into... And they just run and die into the machine guns, essentially. Essentially, yes. As you can see, I will continue to place these here. Um, actually, and a feature I finally discovered last game was this thing right here, which show you what's coming in the next two rounds. Um, so here are the bigger guys. These are the second units. There's the standard field runners, which are these guys. Then there's these bigger guys. And yeah, then there's the bigger guys right there. And, uh... Each unit gives you a different amount of money towards buying new towers. These basic ones, they give you one. The big guys, they give you two. Uh, things like tanks give you three. Two, I mean, I have ten, not, not three, ten. Um, a lot of flying guys give you two, which is annoying, just considering how difficult they are to beat. But, here we are. We will... We will start... Kill, 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 kill. Fatality, fatality. I'm going to sit here and we are going to build the maze, which they will have to run up and down this in order to get here. And... Oh, that's another thing. I cannot place the towers here because there has to be a path for them to get there. Like, unlike most games where the enemies just have, like... I don't know how you would describe it, but... In most tower defense games, people just have a tendency, there's just a path and you have to place things along it. This, you get to create your own maze, but there are still rules that apply, such as I cannot just box them in and just hammer them with rockets. Which also brings me, here are our four towers. There is the, I need this. 
There are the machine gun towers, which you see at work here. Destroying things. There is the slowing towers. There's the rocket towers then. Ah, here we go. Our first flying units. There should only be two this round. Yes. Destroy! As you see, those are the flying units. They have the special ability of just being able to fly straight over everything. Meaning this gap right here becomes increasingly important to place like rockets on. As the guys you just saw though, those are guys on bikes. They are the standard field runners, but on bikes. Meaning they move, I don't know, it's probably two or three times as fast. I cannot exactly remember. Alright, here's the first rocket tower we are going to be placing. Rocket tower. Up and over, 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 up and over. That's right, but you can't, because you're just gonna die. Aha! Um, let us continue. Let's place that there. Go up. Go up. Up. Face things. Face things. Um, these machine guns, as the enemies get stronger and stronger, these machine guns are essentially going to become useless. Okay, that was... Um, these machine guns are essentially going to become useless as the uh, rounds go on. Um, this is a fun game. This is a nice game for me to commentate, simply because I'm not doing a whole lot. Um, obviously, I'm depicting strategy, but it's not like something with Minecraft where I can't, like... We're going to pause the game here so I can come in and place a slowing tower as its name would suggest. Once again, let us pause that. I don't normally do this, but we're going to place a rocket tower right there. Okay, that's going to keep things dead for a while. Actually, could be a really good place to go there. Essentially, all these machine gun towers are going to do is I'm just essentially just going to place a giant maze in them, and then they're just going to be slowly and steadily replaced as the game goes on. Unfortunately, that, that's the problem with this map, though, is this first one, you don't have anything. Um, as I learned playing in the last thing, these slowing towers are incredibly important. See, I'm still learning stuff about this game. I mean, I've played this. I mean, I've played this game, and still, I'm just learning stuff about it, such as the importance of the slowing towers. Because I never, I used them, but never in force. But now I do see the importance. Of them. As you can see there. Air dispatch is quite nice, though, which is nice, because on medium, that's what that round destroyed me. Round 20. Once again, I might get crap for being on round 20, but this game gets harder as it goes on, so... Do not worry your little faces. I did not mean to be insulted with that. That's just a phrase. As you can see, I'm going to continue to place those as... Flying guys come. I guess I could call them choppers. I just call them flying guys. As there are more and more flying guys, this is going to start becoming increasingly more difficult. And increasingly more difficult to bad. Alright, we should expand this maze quite a bit now. So now we have a little bit of cash on us. See, unfortunately, the way this the way this game is set up, though, is these guys, despite being like an upgraded version of the regular field runners, they still only give you a dollar per kill. So money does not so much after round 50, but definitely before round 50. Budgeting your money does become an issue, but that's why rounds like with all of these guys are nice. With what 30 of them or 20? are nice because they're essentially just going to do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Alright, you may now proceed to be destroyed. Once again.
again. Uh, this is a setup as just alternating these things might have changed at some point. But for now, it's going to hold true. Because this should be more than enough to slow down every unit and destroy everything. Like I said, I might. Actually, I probably will end up stopping doing this at some point. But. All the way to over here. And we are looking spiffy. We are looking quite spiffy. And as you notice, I have not upgraded any of these towers. That's because it's not really... This first mission is very, very simple. It's very easy. I should... As I said, the pregame, I should have no trouble getting to round one. It, it should not be an issue. Um, if it is, I have absolutely not. I have no reason to be playing this game. And as you can see, they are not going to seem to be repeatedly just wrecked. Are there 12? I think we'll be okay. I think. I very much hope. I feel like we'll be fine, but as you can see, the healthy ones are getting farther and farther. But, no, it's not an issue. Um, I'm going to upgrade finally one of these. I'm going to upgrade this tower. To, uh, now it is level 2. I believe, I don't know exactly what that does. I'm going to assume it just doubles the amount of damage done by a, uh... Oh, God. See, I already recorded two sessions of this, both of them failing. Uh, each of them about a half an hour long. On top of that, I recorded mine... Or, recorded probably an hour and a half of Minecraft before this. I'm a little brain dead right now. I, I'm not in peak mental condition. In the slightest. At the moment. <laughs> okay. Let's see. These guys are going to be quite nicely destroyed. And in fact, I'm gonna, I could go to round 100 with this means I could be doing this for like an hour, another hour. But I'll probably take a break between the free game and the regular thing. That is, of course, assuming I make it to the free game, but... Ah, our first introduction to the tank. Um, it is exactly as it sounds. It is a tank. Um, the damage to it should be fairly... This is a simple, a single tank, so we shouldn't have any issues, really. Dispatching, I guess. Dispatching. Dispatching. That sound well. Dispatching of these guys. Um, this guy, I believe, will give us 10. If I am... Sorry. Yeah, doing this for a long time. Um, if I am correct, Let's see what we got going on here. We got five tanks coming around 33. Which, if if I'm making plan is right, and I can get to 70 dollars or close to it with these guys, I could sell a tower or two if really needed. Which does appear as a need it. Okay, fine. I'm just going to sell off one of you. And you, and the interest of doing that. Um, that tower is extremely powerful. It will destroy half this game. Unfortunately, we'll do that first one right now. That might, looks like it might break through. So, now you're going to get to see this number right up here at the top. 20, and it's gone. All right. The first thing I'd like to do is upgrade that guy. Do as much damage as possible. Boom. 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 As you can see, it is actually, each shot is taking a fair nick out of the opponent's health. More than enough that this guy, they, they, they shouldn't. Get some 
some damage on these guys. Unfortunately, I don't think my power is going to be strong enough to defeat them on the uh -oh. Yeah, that's what you damn. 